Hi guys, myself Suresh, Department of Mathematics, Seekers Education. So today we'll talk about few important chapters with respect to JE preparation. So competitive exam is all about prioritizing the topics. So and understanding the depthness of the exam, understanding the syllabus, considering all these factor and keeping all these factors in mind, I have prioritized few topics in order. I'm sure this is going to help you for your preparation. So now coming to the topics, like first topic, I would just prioritize statistics. So every year, every year you could expect one question from the statistics. Statistics one question, mathematical reasoning one question, heights and distance one question, and the sets and relation one question. So these four topics will give you four questions and very easily you can solve these four questions. All right, so now coming to 3D geometry and vectors, definitely you're gonna get three questions every year. On an average, if I take, so three questions I'm getting from 3D geometry and vectors. All right, so coming to application of derivatives. Coming to application of derivatives, you could expect one to two questions. Let us have minimum one question, okay? So matrices and determinants, we are getting three questions every year. Conic sections, under conic sections, coming to circles, parabola, ellipse, and hyperbola and hyperbola so from these four topics again you, can, you could expect two questions from these four topics i could expect two questions again so now definite integration plus area under covers so again two questions from this all right so now if i have a look at this slide one two three four and seven eight eleven thirteen and fifteen so you heard it right fifteen questions from the slide one which means almost look at this out of 30 15 questions getting covered by these chapters which means 50 percent of the syllabus 50 percent of the syllabus you could cover from these nine topics all right so and coming to phase two topics coming to phase two topics coming to phase two topics quadratic equations quadratic equations one of the easiest topics as far as je concerns all right coming to statistics again sorry straight lines one question functions one question complex numbers one question we have two parts in complex numbers part number one complex number part one is enough for je point of view all right if you are preparing for advanced then you could talk about geometrical interpretation of complex numbers as well but as far as je concerns you just need to prepare complex number part one all right so coming to limits continuity and differentiability you could expect two questions again all right so in sequence and series, one question, one to two questions you could expect. All right, binomial theorem, definitely one question again. And differential equations, one question. And the probability, one question. Okay, so now I'll just talk about differential equation, especially differential equations, one to two questions you could expect, one to two questions. All right, easiest topic, actually, see, if you are very good at NCRT, if you are good at solving NCRT sums, I'm sure you're going to make this differential equations je question very very easily all right people so now just coming to quadratic equations coming to quadratic equations so there are very easy topics like you know sum of the roots product of the roots nature of the roots you could talk about the newton's formula newton's formula is most like you know expected subtopic from the quadratic equations chapters so be careful with that and uh, coming to limits coming to limits Coming to limits, L capital rule, standard limits concept is very, like very important and the most expected one, I would say. All right. So now just coming to the phase number three. I mean, phase number three. Next slide will go for phase number three. And these four topics, actually, I don't understand why. But if I take on an average, like, you know, most of the students will neglect these four topics. Neglect in the sense they would solve these topic questions in the last. So that is the reason these are the four topics I have just, you know, put up in the phase three part. So these four topic questions are most like, you know, neglect, I mean, mo most neglected topics, I would say, and you know, even the, you get the questions in the exam. So what, like, you know, you guys have to do is just prioritize in the last, you solve in the last. All right, if you are really confident of that particular question, you could make uh, in the first itself, but so my personal suggestion is like, you know, coming to indefinite integration, coming to trigonometry questions. All right, so these are like kind of you know lengthy, I would say slightly lengthy, so which may consume your time. So you may not be able to solve in less span of time. So I would request you guys to solve these like you know four topic questions in the last. So and just now coming to 
coming to these four topics and these four topics actually these four topics actually like you know you could solve these four questions in less span of time which you know saves a lot of time to you know solve these topic questions phase three topics are you getting my point children so this is what like you know brief uh, like you know uh, you say that idea of important like you know prioritizing the topics as far as your je preparation concerns all right so now see 50 percent of the topics 50 percent of the chapter uh, uh, questions getting covered from the slide one and slide two again gives you uh, slide two again gives you what see four and uh, six seven eight uh, you say uh, uh, 10 and 11 so 11 questions are getting covered from the slide two all right so 15 plus 11 even you take like you know five six questions from this five to six questions all right so 15 over there and five questions over here minimum 20 questions are getting covered very easily all right so now if i have like you know final part finally i would just conclude here that 15 questions from the slide one as i told these nine chapters are getting covered like with what 15 questions how many questions 15 questions total the, from these topics 15 questions you are getting and 15 questions plus like you say like five chop five questions you take like from this 11 question even if i solve five questions i would be able to solve total 20 questions so 20 into 4 80 marks it's not a small score it's pretty good score all right so this is what the session is all about thank you